How do you compete with yourself to improve what you do and how well you do it? It's, it's inbred in me. I've always been competitive, but my biggest competitor has been myself. It's healthy to try to you know, push the bar a little higher. You know, it's not an apples to apples comparison, so it's hard for me to compete against someone else. So I just try to set goals that are you know, highly attainable not so attainable, super stretch goals, and you know, meeting the highly attainable ones, those, those are what get you through the day. Right. But it's working towards those stretch goals, and then you know, by reaching those that make you stand out. And so it's, I'm always striving to, to reach towards something that I sometimes don't even think I can reach. Right. Um, so yeah, it, this year when I first started to think about, you know moving, shifting, leaving what I knew behind and following my passion, you know, I started to, to think, you know, what do I want to do? And I didn't even know what the end goal was, but I started setting these little goals that were a little bit out of reach. And then you get there and you think, okay, now what's next? And you get there. And then what's interesting is it's starting to create a path for me. Um, so it's hard to work towards something when you don't know what that something is, but mm. I'm kind of finding my way and figuring it out. You, you yeah. immerse yourself in a contest, you win that contest, mm -hmm. and then next it's a series of small wins, whether it's mm -hmm. getting involved with a particular program, developing mm -hmm. something on your own, doing some videos, or writing. It pushes you. It also opens doors. The more you're talking about your passion or what you want to do, I've been connected to some of the most amazing people that have helped me get there. Mm. Um, so. You know, I think you should just believe in it and try to push yourself and then talk about it.